All right, now we do, folks. Your boy, Marcus, on Tuesday, five numbers after the name. Marcus and friends over here on with the captain. Some Borderlands 2 action, man. Bad Morn. His boy, I think he's got a bunch of people strapped to his shield, man. You know, first person games, they really struggle with boss fights, man. I was just thinking about this before. Now, Resident Evil 7 kind of had some aight ones, but they weren't really like. I don't know, they were alright. If you go check my Free Still Friday videos, like they were good, they were definitely entertaining. And if I were honestly to think of maybe best balls, like, they'd definitely be up there. I'd have to kind of go and think of a list. But like first person shooters are really tough to make in a boss fight, because in essence, what can you do differently than a regular enemy in a boss fight except make him a bullet sponge? And that's kind of how a lot of these Borderlands 2 bosses feel. The thing that sets them apart and the things that makes them entertaining or at least cool in some respect is just how crazy and different they are, right? Like, this guy has, like, people strapped to, like, a shield and he's gonna run at you or whatever. Uh, and it's kind of the narrative that the cat and I pointed out with this guy that really makes it fun. But in essence, this is just the guy that we kicked his ass, right? Like, one of us got in front of him, one of us got behind him, pulled, and we just annihilated the dude. Like, there really wasn't anything to do. But when you're gonna look at it, what else kind of can you do in the first-person genre? And so far, the Borderlands 2 bosses have been... I don't want to say disappointing, but they definitely have been just blah. Um, but they're definitely fun, though. It's still fun, because it's fun because you're playing with ball, and that's hot. You're Bull Marcos, man. Deuces.